welcome one and all to Thunder Feud, the first ever War Thunder game show. We asked 100 people 8 questions about the game and our contestants will have to guess what the answers are. In this episode, we got Team USA against Team Europe. With a total prize of 5,000 golden eagles, we will see who will end up on top. Before we get started though, first I'll explain the rules. Two teams will compete in survey based questions. Each round starts with one contestant from each team facing off. The contestant who destroys the target will get to answer first. Whoever gives the highest rated answer will give their team a chance to play. Whichever team is answering must give as many correct answers as possible. If they get three wrong answers, the other team will have a chance to steal all the points by providing one correct answer. And if they give a wrong answer, the original team will keep all the points. Alright, that was everything. Let's get the show on the road. Alright, welcome to Thunder Feud everybody, I'm your man, SK Dodger. Now, give me Fuel, give me Niels. You all know who Fuel is, the man, the myth, the legend himself. He's been playing since 2015 and his favorite nation is Japan. I don't play this game anymore. And on Team Red, we've got the naval enjoyer himself, Niels. He's been playing since 2016 and his favorite nations are America and Germany. Alright gentlemen, get ready for the first question. You're gonna name a land vehicle. Alright, question one. Name a... <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Name up. Wait, hey, yeah. like a tank, a tiger. A tiger. Let's check the board. I am sorry, Niels, but the tiger was not on the board. Now, Fuel, let me say the question in full for you. Name a vehicle with a high top speed. Oh, uh, you, you literally stopped. R3, very good answer. Let's check the board. Congratulations, R3 was the number two answer. You may go back to your teams. Oh, you literally stopped the question. Up next is E Man. He's been playing since 2016, and his favorite nations are Germany and the US. Alright. E Man, name a land vehicle with a high top speed. Type 93. Congratulations, Type 93 was the number one answer. Nicely done. Whoa. Next up, P Mag. He's been playing since 2020, and his favorite nations are the Soviets and Japan. P-Mag, let's hear it. Name a land vehicle with a high top speed. EBR. Good answer. EBR, let's, let's, see the, let's see the scoreboard. Congratulations, that was number eight. You got three points. Woo. And here we have Heatseeker, a new addition to the server. He's been playing since 2014, and his favorite nation is the US of A. Uh, I've been playing just about every day since 2014, and I play everything under the sun. I am not uh, partial to anything. Alright, heat seeker, let's hear it. Land vehicle with a high top speed. The Roy Cat. The South African Menace, is it on the board? <laughs> yes it is! You got a number 7 answer! Alright! <laughs> right back to fuel. My man, give me a land vehicle with a high top speed. ASU 57. ASU 57, an interesting choice. Alright, let's see the board. I am sorry, but that was not on the list. Oh, Mr. E-Man, your team has one strike. Name a land vehicle with a high top speed. Concept 3. The Concept 3? Let's check the list. I am sorry, but that was also not on the list. Two strikes for Team Blue. Oh, good, good try, man. Okay, P-Mag, you have two strikes, you get one answer. If you get it right, we move on to Heat Seeker. If you get it wrong, I go to Team Red. Name a land vehicle with a high top speed. Centauro. Centauro, good answer, good answer. Let's see the scoreboards. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, that was not on the list. What? You have, uh... I will now go to Team Red. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Niels was off to a bad start, but now he has a chance to turn it all around. His team has discussed what they're gonna answer, and then they can win all the points if they get it right. All right, Niels, my man, my homie. What's up, bro? How you doing? How you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Only, uh, don't stop next time in the middle of your question, please. Thank you. Uh, don't answer too quick. All right, my man. Name a land vehicle with a high top speed. M18 Hellcat. The M18. Very good answer. Let's check the scoreboards. Congratulations, that was number five on the list. You get all the points. Nice, happy! Yeah. Happy! Very good. And that leaves Team Red with 75 points. Here are the rest of the answers if anybody is interested. Stay in tune everybody, we got a game here tonight. Thunder Feud will be back after these messages. Alright everybody, we're back, and now it's time for the second question. E-Man, Yevil, get over here. On Team Red, we've got some strong contestants, starting with Yevil. He's been playing since 2016, and his favorite nation is Japan. Welcome to the stage, gentlemen. Now, get ready for the second question. Alright, here it comes. Question 2. Finish the sentence. War Thunder is... Yovel. Painful. 
painful. Let me see the scoreboard. That was the number one answer. Congratulations. Let's go on to Team Red. Nice Let's answer. Go. Very good. And as a reminder to the audience, while Team Red is answering the question, Team Blue is discussing what they're gonna answer in a Discord channel. And speaking of Discord, we have a server which you should join. We host events for a bunch of different games, and you get to join videos like this. Link will be in the description. And now we move on to Polsky. He's been placed since 2018 in his favorite nations of the Soviets and America. Now, Mr. Polsky, I need you to finish the sentence. Warthner is blank. Esports ready. Esports ready, let's check the scoreboard. That was the number three answer, congratulations! Yay, nice job. What's, what, what are you guys' thoughts on that uh, on that answer, team? I think it was a good answer. Yeah. Damn, well said, well said. <laughs> Could, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Sebas. He's been playing since 2020 and he plays every single country. Now, I'm gonna need you to finish the sentence. Warthunner is blank. Time consuming. Time consuming, very good answer. Let's check the scoreboards. That was the number six answer, congratulations. Nice. All right, Niels, you know the drill. You have zero strikes as of yet, and we have three answers left. I need you to finish the sentence. War Thunder is blank. Pay to win. Pay to win, let's check the scoreboards. I apologize, but that is not on the list. You have one strike. Racism. Yo, well, back to you, my man. You have one strike and three answers left. I need you to finish the sentence. War Thunder is blank. I'm gonna go with something controversial and say fun. Fun, very good answer. Let's check the scoreboards. And congratulations, that was the number two answer. Nice, nice. Okay, Polsky, there are two answers remaining. You have one strike. Finish the sentence. War Thunder is blank. Suffering. Suffering, let's check the board. I am sorry, but suffering was included in the first answer. You have two strikes. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Oof. All right, Mr. Sebas, it's all up to you. Two strikes, two answers. Let me hear it. Finish the sentence. War Thunder is blank. Better than World of Tanks. Better than World of Tanks. Let me see the scoreboard. I am sorry, but that was not on the scoreboard. We'll move on to Team Blue. Damn! Alright, alright! Now, Blue Team, you guys had some time to discuss the answer. You have one chance to take all the points. If you get it wrong, the points go to Team Red. Mr. Fuel, let's hear it. War Thunder is blank. It's very grindy, like, time-consuming. Time-consuming! It all depends on this answer. Let's see it! I am sorry, Team Blue, but that was already said. The points go to Team Red. Nice. Oh, Woo! my word. Let's go, no hoes. <laughs> no bitches. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like Team Red has a major advantage with 170 points under their belts. And here are the rest of the answers. Up next are the double and triple point rounds. Can Team Blue make a comeback? Find out after these messages. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's see our third contestants. Gimme P Mag, gimme Polsky. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Now, get ready for the third question. Point values are doubled. Alright, question three. Name an infamous incident in War Thunder history. Nobody's shooting the tank. Hey, there we go. Alright, Polsky. Name an infamous incident in War Thunder history. It's actually not one, but few of them were. Uh... You know, top secret data about tanks was leaked. I think it was Challenger, some Chinese APDS, and something else. Well, that's a pretty good answer. All right, let's check the scoreboards. And congratulations, that was the number one answer. Let's go to Team Red. Yay! Mr. Sebas, hi, how are you feeling oh. right now? You excited? Yeah. You ready to win some gold mingles? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, my man. All right. Let me hear your answer. Name an infamous incident in World Thunder history. Parts and FPs equal to free ambulance. Ah, uh, that is a very good answer. Let's check the scoreboards. And congratulations, that was the number two answer. Yeah, let's go! Back to the first contestants, Niels. You guys have zero strikes and five answers left on the board. Let me hear your answer for an infamous incident in War Thunder history. I am sorry, but you have run out of time. One strike for Team Red. All right, Yovel, one strike and five answers left. Let's hear an infamous incident in War Thunder history. I'm gonna go with something that was really common and still is. Ghost Shell. Ghost Shell, that's a good answer. Let's see the scoreboards. 
And congratulations, that was the number seven answer. Nice, fucking nice. A. All right, Mr. Polsky, my man. You guys, as of now, have one strike and four answers remaining on the board. Let me hear your answer for an infamous incident in War Thunder history. War Thunder Sports uh, sponsoring separatists in Ukraine. It was back in 2021. Yeah, that was a that was, that was a rough time. Let's see it. I am sorry, but that was not on the list. Ah. It's two strikes. Oof. Mr. Savas, it's all up to you again. Again? Two strikes, four answers on the board. Let's hear your answer for an infamous incident in World Thunder history. Uh, the chat disabling. The disabling of chat. Let's see the scoreboards. And congratulations, that was the number five answer. You get to go another Let's round. Go. Hey. Mr. Niels, my man, let's not have another hiccup like that again. I forgot what I, I got something to say and then I forgot it. <laughs> well, let's hope you get a good answer this time then. Two strikes and three answers remaining. Name an infamous incident in War Thunder history. Volumetric armor overlapping? Volumetric, very good answer. Now it all depends on this. Let's see the scoreboards. <laughs> and I am sorry, but that was not on the list. Oh, oh man. man. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Team Blue, now is your chance to get back at Team Red for all their shenanigans and what they've been doing for the past couple. We talked about this, rounds. guys. We talked about this. You got we, it. You, you guys got this. Have I believe in you. Conversed with each other and um, chosen the best answer, Mr. Fuel. It all depends on you now. Name an infamous incident in War Thunder history. The addition of top tier premiums. The addition of top tier premiums. Now, if this answer is on the board, Team Blue will be back in the game. However, if it isn't, Team Red wins. Now, the moment of truth. Is it on the board? Congratulations, that was the number four answer! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, team Blue is back in the game. Let's go! That's a nice one, Fuel. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, looks like Team Blue is back in the game. Following Team Red with 146 points, they could easily catch up with the triple point round coming up. Stick around for the last round to see who will be the champion of the first ever Thunder Feud. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to the show, now for our fourth question. Give me Heatseeker, give me Sebas. Alright fellas, this is the final question. Point values are tripled. You'll be naming a land vehicle. Here it comes. Question 4. Name a tank you can snipe with. Oh, that was a close one, but looks like Sebast shot first. Let's hear it. Tiger 2H. Tiger 2H, is it on the list? Sadly not. Heatseeker, your turn. A tank you can snipe with. The uh, M1A2. The Abrams, good answer. Let's see the board. That was also not on the list. Back to Sebast. Um, Object 120. Object 120, now that's a solid choice. Let's take a look. And congratulations, that was the number one answer. Let's go! Let's go Team Red! Back to the man himself. Niels, give me a tank you can snipe with. Centurion? Centurion, good answer. Is on the board? I apologize, but that was not on the board. You have one strike. Yovel, my man. Can you name a tank you can snipe with? I sure can. The infamous bush sniper, ASU-57. ASU-57, very good answer. Let's check the scoreboard. I am sorry, but the ASU was also not on the list. Ow. Two strikes for Team Red. And just as a reminder to the audience, these answers are subjective. We asked 100 people through a poll, and the most frequent answers were chosen. So some of the answers might not make any sense, but that's just how it is. Polsky, my man. Two strikes. It's all up to you now. We have seven answers, and I need you to name a tank you can snipe with. Mm, Yak Panzer 470. Yak Panzer 470, it all depends on this. Let's see the scoreboard. I am sorry, but that was not uh, on the list. Three strikes. Damn, this is hard. Yeah, this is hard. Mr. Fuel, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. I need you to name a tank you can snipe with. The Nick Ermax. Oh, very sp oh, very nice, answer. very, 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 yes, sir. very like solid it. answer. Now, if this answer is up there, you boys get a chance to bring home a 5,000 Golden Eagle check. However, if it isn't, Team Red will get all the glory. Let us check the infamous scoreboard for this final answer. Congratulations, that was the number yeah. two answer! You yeah. guys yeah. Won. Oh. 
what an incredible comeback. The boys in blue managed to come out on top with 293 points. Here are the rest of the elusive answers. Up next is Fast Money, and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss it. Will Team Blue manage to secure their golden reward? Stick around to see the incredible conclusion to the pilot episode of Thunder Feud. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to the last segment of the show, Fast Money. Blue Team have chosen PMAG and Heatseeker to be their representatives. While PMAG is answering the question, Heatseeker will be deafened and won't be able to hear anything. Well then, let's see the man himself, PMAG, get over here. How are you feeling right now? You ready for the fast money round? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna fuck up horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my man, it's gonna be smooth sailing. Now, just as a reminder, you're gonna answer four questions in rapid fire succession with a time limit of 20 seconds. After that, we'll count up your points and Heat Seeker will come up. He's gonna have 25 seconds. However, if he repeats one of your answers, I'll ask him the question again. If the combined total of your points is above 100, you get the jackpot, cash money, 5,000 golden eagle reward. If not, it'll be a slightly smaller amount. Now then, Get ready for the questions. Timer will start when I finish the first question. I'll ask again, are you ready, Mr. Pumag? Yes. Alright, get your best answering face on and let's get started with question one. Name something you can spend golden eagles on. Uh, whole prototype. Name a controversial vehicle in the game. Uh, the, the top tier Russian Man BT, the premium one. Name something you can find on an abandoned factory. Um, the... Concrete circles. I don't know the concrete cylinders. All right, all right. Name an ammo type that is rarely used. Name an ammo type. Uh, shrapnel shell. And that is time. Nicely oh. done. Now let's go with your answers. First question was name something you can spend golden eagles on. You said holy prototype. Survey says twenty-four points. Number one answer. Next, name a controversial vehicle in the game. You had a bit of trouble, but you said T seventy-two terms T. Survey says. 8 points within number 4 answer. For our third question, name something you can find on an abandoned factory. You said concrete circles, I think you meant the pipes. Survey says... 11 points, number 4 answer. And for our last question, name an ammo type that is rarely used. You said shrapnel. Survey says... 26 points, that was the number one answer. Congratulations. Let's go. Yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> that adds up to 69 points exactly. Very nice. Now, Heatseeker, come on up here. I'm all right, all right. Now, Mr. Heatseeker, are you excited? Are you ready to win some cash money, Golden Eagles? I am amped up, dude. I'm ready. I like the energy, my man. Now, PMAC had 69 points, so you need at least 31 more points to get the jackpot. Oh, really? Oh, wow, okay. You have 25 seconds, and you need to answer four questions. Timer starts when I finish the first question. I'll ask again, are you ready? I'm ready. Fast money question number one. Name something you can spend golden eagles on. Camos. Name a controversial vehicle in the game. The K-50. Name something you can find on an abandoned factory. Uh, railroad tracks. Name an ammo type that is rarely used. APCR. Very nicely done. Now let's go with your answers. First question, name something you can spend golden eagles on. You said camos, survey says... 11 points with the number 4 answer. Second, name a controversial vehicle. You said KA-50 and the survey says... 16 points with the number 1 answer. You only need 4 more points and the jackpot is yours. Let's go! Let's go! Yes sir, yes sir, Let's go. yes sir. Third, name something you can find on an abandoned factory. You said railroad tracks, survey says... 19 points with the number Yo! one answer. Congratulations! Oh, Let's go! Yes, Woo! And for the last question, name an ammo type that is rarely used. You said APCR, and the survey says 23 points with the number two answer. Yeah, let's go! Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, looks like Team Blue has managed to pull it off. With their final results well above the 100 point threshold, they get to bring home the grand prize of 5,000 Golden Eagles. Let's cut to the post game interviews. You know. The yeah, I kind of expected to lose the first two rounds, but like, we're just too goaded. We're the Team America, like, America's the best nation in the game. I will say it's Neil's fault because he rushed the question. Maybe like, Did you really think I would ask the question? Like, Name a vehicle. 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 Name a vehic
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching, and a special thank you to the contestants for coming up here tonight. If you'd like a chance to be in one of these videos, the Discord link will be in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching and roll the credits.